It is the holiday season and police across the country are cracking down on impaired driving and now a couple of police forces in Ontario are using a new tactic to dissuade the crime. Naming and shaming is the name of that game. Let's bring in Megan Roberts who has details for us today. So really this story is coming to light because York Regional Police just north of Toronto has essentially jumped into this strategy. Yeah, it, over the weekend, they had so many impaired drivers that they announced this new strategy of naming and shaming. They said that every Monday, they will name those charged with impaired driving related charges and they made the announcement on Twitter. Let's take a look at exactly what they said. This coming from York Regional Police. 16 impaired drivers charged this weekend and then they said effective immediately they'll name all drivers charged with impaired related criminal driving offenses to further make impaired driving socially unacceptable. We are not giving up. So in that tweet they're saying that they're, they want there to be some shame around drunk driving, impaired driving, making it socially unacceptable. They're also hoping that people in the community will help them a little bit with this work. If they see the name of somebody they know who has been charged with impaired driving and then maybe they see that person later driving while they're still under suspension, they're hoping that that person will notify police. The numbers this weekend were particularly bad, but those are not the only reasons this weekend, not the only reason that York police decided to move forward with this strategy. Here's what they had to say. This year alone, we've laid more than 1,400 uh, impaired driving charges in York Region alone. We're just fed up. Uh, we're not going to tolerate this in York Region anymore. And this is just one more step to see if we can start to change the direction of the numbers from going up to going down. So it's interesting to hear that from York Regional Police because, as we noted earlier, this is not the first police force to use uh, this tactic in the province. But has it worked for other forces? So we turn to Durham police for that because they have been using it the longest that we know of for 10 years, for a decade. They've been naming and shaming impaired drivers and their spokesperson says that it has made an impact, that it acts as a bit of a deterrent and they gave anecdotal evidence of that. They say that people have told them personally, they've told the police that they don't drink and drive because they don't want their names out there. They also have stories of somebody seeing a name on a list realizing it's their neighbor and then again reporting that neighbor if they see them driving or driving impaired or anything that they're not supposed to be doing. So Durham police saying yes there's anecdotal evidence that this is effective but they say it's ultimately impossible to measure because of course they can't count what doesn't happen. So the ultimate goal is for people to not drink and drive and when they don't it's not like they're notifying police so it's a bit difficult to measure but they say that it has acted as a deterrent in their uh, anecdotal evidence that they've collected Michael okay Megan thank you for that